Hey guys, how's it going? I just got done with an interview, the new warehouse job, and uh, it was a panel interview, which I don't like panel interviews. Three three supervisors or whatever uh, questioned me, and you know the only other experience I can think of with panel interviews was when I applied for a couple of WalMarts and I never got hired. But you know I didn't have a resume and stuff like I do now. But uh, I. Um, I'm really hopeful about this job. <clears throat> One of the first questions they asked me is like, you know, tell us about a time you made a mistake and how did you handle it? And I kind of froze at the beginning there, you know, it's like, uh, mistakes, what's that? I don't make mistakes. But no, I've made plenty of mistakes, but you know, when they ask you questions on that, like on the spot, I'm not really prepared for <clears throat> something, but I told them, you know, I had a customer complaint a couple weeks ago or so and how, uh, you know, sometimes I try to rush the customers, and not all customers are okay with that, and i just uh, aware of the customers more and, and how I should respond to them and whatever. And, I, you know, last year at UPS, I had a customer complain for how I handled their package, and my UPS driver told me to make sure I put my hand on top of the boxes when I lay them down, and, you know, I was kind of tossing it a little bit. But <coughs> they asked me just different questions, and, uh, you know... Uh, I was nervous, but I tried to just be honest, and, you know, what can you do? I've already got jobs, so if I don't get the job, it's not such a huge deal, but I applied for part-time. I applied for Saturday and Sunday mornings, which is like 6 to 5 or something like that. They're 10-hour shifts, and, um, uh, you know, I want to do part-time now because I want to keep doing the UPS and I, I like, you know, I want to be able to study more scriptures, make more videos, and, you know, I also do yard work and all that. So I want to keep doing that, but eventually, you know, it could be part, or full-time, you know, whenever I want to. Uh, I probably will at some point, but just to get comfortable with it, just to make sure I can handle it and everything, I think it's, it's really good. I mean, I could work two days instead of three days, and I'll be making more money. So I'll be getting paid about... It's like fifteen seventy five an hour or something, so I figure, you know, after taxes it'll be like fifteen an hour. And so my you know, the ten hour shift that's about hundred and fifty dollars a day. Whereas I make like ten dollars an hour and I work like seven hour shifts now and I only you know, I only end up making like fifty, sixty bucks a day. So I'll be doubling it pretty much what I'm making. Um I'm supposed to get a reply within ten days of whether I got the job or not. And uh I'll have to do training, you know, 10 hours of training, uh, you know, Saturday and Sunday. I'll have to do 10 hour shifts basically, but it'll be training and, um, it's going to be in a cooler. So they have a freezer and they have a dry area and I've heard the cooler's the best probably because it's, you know, probably wear a hoodie or something in there and be comfortable. And it's the same temperature all year round where the freezer is like freezing cold. You don't really want to work there and, the dry, it probably gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter. And so the cooler is probably, you know, the kind of the same temperature to get used to. But, I mean, I work the overnights at my gas station job. I've been working overnights for two years. And uh, to be able to work Saturday and Sunday and, and get off at 5 p.m. and still be able to maybe do something on a Saturday or Sunday night is incredible. And to make more money and basically working one less day is incredible. So, and you know, the benefits and being able to, to take on more hours if I want to later on, you know, it's just all positives. So, you know, part of me just keeps thinking that I like have this in the bag, but I don't. And if I don't, you know, then, then I just roll with the punches and I apply somewhere else because, you know, my gas station days, you know, are coming to an end. I'm not wanting to work there anymore. If I have to, you know, apply places for full time, then, then I will, you know, I'll do whatever I have to do next, and, you know, um, but it's a really great company to work for, I've got family that's worked there for a long time, I know a lot of people that have worked there, I think that it's something I'll be able to handle, but guys, if you could, just remember me in your prayers, and I'll let you know when I hear back from the job, I hope that it's positive, and I, you know, I just thank the Lord, uh, this is all a blessing, I'm just so grateful, God's really blessed me here, and you know, even for the opportunity, even if I don't get the job, it gives me motivation and it's, you know, it's got my mind thinking about other opportunities and, uh, 
you know, this is really amazing. You know, I don't know, I've been slacking with the videos a lot lately and stuff, and I think that this, you know, getting this would definitely be a boost, you know. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day, and have a happy holidays, guys. God bless.